This is my puppy. Caesar, say hi. He loves me. Such a good baby, right? You're gonna be quiet while I record, right? Yeah? Yeah, alright, cool, cool. Bye. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to talk about the four top apps that you need to have during your first year of dental school. This is in no way sponsored or anything like that. It's just what I used and um, I found those beneficial. And I've been getting questions about that, so I'm here to share it with you. Seriously? A quick disclaimer is that um, I use Apple products, and so that means I have an Apple iPhone, a MacBook, and I have an iPad. And so these apps that I use were all on iPads, and so with with um, other phones, I don't know if the format or features will be different, but as far as I know, they shouldn't be. But if you try it out and they are, please let me know in the comments so I can fix that in my description. The first app I'm gonna tell you guys about is called Muscle. Oh my goodness, this app is amazing for gross anatomy and for physiology, mostly gross anatomy. Like it is the bomb.com. You can, it's like having a cadaver right in front of you and you can just twirl the body in any which orientation you want and identify nerves, blood vessels, all the muscles, bones even. And it's just, right at your fingertips. You just All you have to do is click and it will identify it for you. And not only will it identify the muscle, but it, it will tell you the innervation. I think it also tells you where it receives blood supply from um, and what its action does. Like what does this um, muscle do? What does this nerve innervate? It is so amazing. Only catches, it's $25 I believe. But the way I see it, it's like, it's a textbook for me. I use it as a textbook and so I felt like the investment was really worth it. And um, so I highly, 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 highly recommend looking into that app called Muscle. Oh, one other thing I forgot was that um, with Gross Anatomy, we not only had to be able to identify the muscles, but know what they do. So like what, um, what flexion and extension look like and what muscles are activated and so, and so on and so on. And this app does all that for you. And especially with like head, head and neck turn up and down, it tells you all the muscles that are involved in that. So it's great for any medical field, basically. Any medical, what are my words? Any medical group studying? Medical school, pharmacy school, dental school, whatever. You get my point. It's awesome for it. The second app I wanna tell you guys about is called Dental Pro. And it is 100% totally just tooth identification. And it's great for beginners because all of the um, standard um, anatomies that you uh, learn about in dental anatomy, that you'll learn about dental anatomy, like in the, the ridges, the cusps, the grooves, everything, um, the depressions even, those are all found on these teeth because they're like standardized, perfect teeth. Um, and it has the quizzes where you can quiz yourself and you know get better and better and um, see all the teeth in the arch, all 32 teeth, top and bottom. And um, I found it really great as a starting point in getting, um, getting a grasp, getting a grip in tooth identification. And the best part is it's free. So definitely check it out. It's called Dental Pro Light, I think. I'm not sure. I'll write it. Another app that I wanna tell you guys about, which is also free, is called Quizlet, which I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with because I've been using Quizlet since I was in high school. And if you haven't jumped on the Quizlet train, I highly encourage it because there's a lot of just like straight up memorization in dental school, medical school, or whatever. There are things you just have to know, you know? And you have to be able to know it by sight identification. And um, the benefits with Quizlet is that a lot of people use it, so there's probably already a study set for what you're looking for. Um, and it's also very easy to share study sets with classmates and create like a 
combined drive on like all the Quizlets that you've made throughout the year so people can benefit from your Quizlets a year or two later or even currently. Another app that's really similar to Quizlet is called Anki. I kind of got into it. I didn't really, you know, explore as much as I would like to, but I have some friends who like swear by it and apparently it's a lot more, um, like you can do a lot more things with it than with Quizlet. Like you can cover up certain, um, like if you have a chart or a picture and everything is labeled, you can cover up the labeled items and so you can quiz yourself with it, which I think is pretty cool and you can't do that with Quizlet unless you pay for a subscription. One thing about both Quizlet and Anki, they're both very easy to use on the go, as well as Dental Pro and even Muscle. They're, these are all apps, so they're all pretty accessible on your phone, tablet, wherever. And um, so you can be studying when you're waiting for a movie to start or if you're traveling, wherever. It's awesome. My last and by far my favorite app of all time, and my friends know this, because I talk about it all the time, is Notability. Notability is like, you ever have you ever thought, maybe you haven't, you probably haven't, but have you, if you have, have you ever thought about the most perfect note-taking application you could ever use that thinks of everything? That's Notability. It's like in its name, Note-ability. The ability to take notes. <laughs> um, it is an app, and first let me say this, I use an iPad and I have a stylus, and so Notability is extremely useful for me. However, if you don't have an iPad or a stylus, I'm not sure exactly what you, all you can do. I know you can still use your Notability, but it might not be as useful to you as it is for someone who's an iPad user with a stylus that can write on it. But back into what Notability can do for you, man. So first of all, you can import all of your PowerPoints and um, PDFs or documents into the app and have them in one consolidated space. And you can organize them by folders and you can also have it back up to one of your email accounts. And so I have my Notability backed up to my Texas A&M University account, um, Google Drive, because that has unlimited storage. And um, another thing with Notability is you can write, now, of course you can, you know, write all over it, but you can also co copy and paste pictures directly onto the app. And so it's really awesome whenever you have a PowerPoint um, and you want to pull it up side by side and you want to take a picture from that PowerPoint and paste it onto your notes itself. All you have to do is just outline it, copy and paste it right. Bam, bam. Takes less than 10 seconds. It's really awesome for that. And, um... By far, by far, my favorite feature of Notability is the voice recording feature. So all of our lectures are recorded, um, <clears throat> but I don't like watch rewatching lectures if I don't have to. And so what I usually do is I record on my on my no iPad on, in Notability while I'm taking notes. And so when I'm reviewing those notes, I'm going back through the PowerPoint. If I reach a point where I get a little confused or I don't really understand what's going on, I will press play and it will take me exactly to that spot. And it, like, it will take me to the, ugh, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. It will take me to the exact point where the professor said what I'm looking for, if that makes sense. You know what, it's really hard to explain. So I'm just gonna demonstrate for you as best I can. So last, we we'll talk about the art, art of the blood. It may happen they're going to leave if you have an allergic reaction. And that's one of the few conditions where it happen, okay? So typically they're going to remain there. A lot of substances, for example, water, to leave, can already, and water soluble substances like salt typically will live through the pores. And it will include glucose and amino acids, all lunch to retain water there, or at least to reabsorb some of that water from the tissue, and we... The long story short, Notability is a bomb.com. Only not a con to it that I've found, well two, um, is that you have to pay for it, it's $24 or $25, but I've used it since I was an undergrad, and it's been like three, four years ago that I started using it, and you only have to pay it once, and 
that's it. So it's like buying a notebook that can do it all for you. Um, and then the other con is that sometimes whenever you're converting PowerPoints to PDFs, it gives you a little it shuffles a few things. So what I usually do to avoid that is I'll convert the PD, the power. I'll open the PowerPoint up in Keynote on my iPad, and then from Keynote convert it to a PDF, and that usually solves a problem. That concludes my apps that you should and need to have for dental school. Again, um, if you don't have Apple products, these apps still might work for you. So definitely look into it and maybe do a little research online to see what other um, non-Apple users have said about it. Um, if you do decide to download these apps, please let me know and let me know what you think, especially Notability and Muscle. Those real MVP, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I promise. Would I lie? No, I wouldn't. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Um, just let me know what you think, okay? Because those things change my life, especially notability. I'm gonna use that for forever. It's on the old and gray. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for so much for tuning in and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That was him, not me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bubba. I do so much to you. You're a trooper. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy.